Okay, so today we're going to be talking this first day of physics class, actual class notes. I need a volunteer uh, to come to the front of the room, somebody who's feeling very brave. You don't actually have to say anything, you just have to walk. All right, come on up. All right, while she's coming up, do you guys see the number line? All right, so it goes from negative three meters all the way to positive three meters. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to a position of negative two meters. Okay. Everybody good? All right, now I want you to walk to a position of one meter. Okay, good. How far did she walk? Yeah, go. Three meters. How, how did you get that? Good. All right. So you did subtraction in your head. Or you could just look at it and go, let's see, one, two, three. Three meters. Okay, good. Now I want you to walk to a position of negative one meters. Go. Good. So for the rest of the class, Take a look at what she did, and I want you to work with the person you're sitting next to and decide how many, what was the total distance she walked. Go. Okay, so, take a look around. Do you, do you agree with anyone? Okay. All right, all right, hold it up, hold it up so we can see. All right, I'm seeing a no. lot of fives, a lot of fives. Does anyone have any dissenting opinions? Remember, she started here at negative two, and she ended up here at negative one. Total distance. Total distance. Di oh, I just changed a bunch of people's minds. What do you think? Um, well, if you're counting the distance I've traveled, just like overall as a long meter, but if you want to count how much distance I've seen, so you're saying the distance traveled is, is one thing and the distance you moved is another thing? I would agree with that. Here's how we're, we're going to work it. Total distance is five. Got it? Because she went three plus another two for a total of five. But there's another thing. Who, who was thinking one? All right. Why were you thinking one? If you compare where she started, is it negative two, and she ended at negative one, she had a total displacement of positive one meter. Got it? There are two different things, and you have to keep them straight in your head. Distance is, doesn't care about positive or negative, it's just total distance. Displacement does care, positive or negative. All right? Nice job, have a seat. All right, so here we go. In the notes themselves, position, that's pretty straightforward. All right? Position is, answers the question, where the object is. Uh, what do we measure position in in this class? Meters, always meters. All right? If you got a problem in miles or kilometers or centimeters or whatever, typically we're going to have you convert it to meters. And you can use Google for that. You guys know Google is really good at converting, right? Or you can use Siri, too. You can say, oh, you know, wait, OK Google. Wait, no, Siri. Sorry, I got a phone with OK Google on it. Um, so yeah, Siri will do that, too. Uh, last year in chemistry class, I think they made a big deal about converting units. Yeah, we're not going to do that in here. All right. Sig figs, uh-uh. No. Yes. All right, good. We got better things to waste our time on. All right, here we go. Measured in meters, position is a vector. All right. Uh, initial position, final position. What was her initial position? Negative two meters. What was her final position? Negative one meters. Good. Uh, let's see. Distance. This one we just did. How far the object has traveled. Uh, distance. Uh, Direction doesn't matter for distance. So if you go this way or that way, it's still just a, a number. 
All right. Example. Let's say you had two legs. You start at negative three. You go to two. That's a distance of five meters. And then you start at that two and go back to negative two. That's a distance of four meters. Total distance traveled is nine meters. All right, good. All right. Next up. Displacement. This is the one where you worry about the starting and ending position. All right. Technically, the equation for displacement is the final minus the initial position. So in this case, in her case, it was minus one meters minus minus two meters for a total displacement of, wait, is that right? Yeah, total displacement of positive one because she moved from here to here, total. Um, next up, speed. Speed. Uh, let's see. Oh, shoot, one more thing. Distance versus displacement. What letter does distance get? Yeah. Capital D. What letter does displacement get? Lowercase d. All right? You have to distinguish between uppercase d and lowercase d because they're actually different. All right? Uh, the other thing you'll sometimes see me write, delta x. X is position, so delta x is change in position. Displacement and delta x, change in position, same thing. All right. Next, speed. Let's see, we did speed before. Uh, what do we measure speed in? Yeah. Meters per second. Meters per second, right. Uh, speed is uh, distance divided by time. So this is the actual equation. Uh, a lot of you actually used it on the lab without even realizing it. But you divide a distance divided by a time to get a speed. Um, anyone ever driven a car before, either for practice or for real? All right. What is the thing in your car that you use to measure speed? What's that device called? Speedometer, speedometer, right? Measures speed, speedometer. Um, what's your speedometer measure in? Miles per hour. Uh, we're talking meters per second. So you can actually convert, like for example, this uh, little speedometer I have right here. Can you guys see what number that's pointing to? It's, it's a little less than 10. That looks about like seven miles an hour to me. Uh, you can use Google and convert that. It turns out seven miles an hour is about three meters per second. All right. Um, if you're ever dealing with a speed and want to know how fast it is in miles an hour, just use Google. All right. Next up. Watch my walk, and I want you to tell me how fast I'm walking. You ready? I'm going to start here at the negative two meter mark, and I'm going to walk that way. Ready? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. How fast was I walking? What was my speed? Yeah. One meter per second, because uh, I would walk one meter every Mississippi, right? OK, fine. Let's do this again. I'm going to start here at three meters and, and walk that way. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. What was my speed? Yes. One meter per second. What was different, though? The direction. If I ask you for speed, Am I asking for a direction? No, speed doesn't care. 10 miles an hour north, 10 miles an hour south, still 10 miles an hour. Your speedometer would read 10 miles an hour. But is there a difference between going that way and going that way, going the positive direction and in the negative direction? Yeah, 
you're, gonna, you're going in a different direction. So what do we call that quantity? It's speed with a direction, yes. Velocity. All right, you guys heard the word velocity? Raise your hand if you heard the word velocity before. All right, Great America, vertical velocity, right, that one. Um, yeah, velocity can be negative, and if you have a negative velocity, it means you're going in the, that direction, the negative direction. Good? So speed and velocity, both measured in meters per second, but velocity can be negative. All right? Definition, speed is defined to be, average speed is defined to be the distance divided by time. Velocity is the displacement divided by the time. Wait a second. Look at this velocity equation. This one. Do you guys see this? Does that look familiar to you in any way? X final mi something minus something divided by something minus something. Yes, we're, that's a slope. When did you do slope? Yesterday, the lab. You were technically doing a velocity in that lab. All right? This is... The final minus the initial divided by the final minus initial. That's the slope. Velocity is the slope of the position time graph. All right. Last one. Time. Okay. Time is the worst. We are super sloppy with the word time. First of all, what do we measure time in? Seconds. So there is actually a difference between time and time interval. For example, if I say it is 10.23 a.m., am I talking about a particular time or is that a time interval? That's a time. If I say two hours, is that a time or a time interval? That's an interval. So what's the time interval between, say, uh, 11 o'clock and 10.30? That's 30 minutes, right? So you can say a particular time or you can say a time interval. Where the problem arises is the fact that I always say time when I mean time interval. So for example, I'll say, hey, the time for this two hour was, was two hours. Well, I should have said time interval. Technically, you're supposed to write just T for time and delta T for time interval, except no one ever writes the delta. Got it? So just be aware of that. Um, in problems, it should be delta T, but we're actually just going to write T. All right. Um, last thing, uh, magnitude. You guys saw this in the lab yesterday. Uh, question nine, I said, what were the units? You guys remember what the units were for the lab for 9A? That was meters per second. The units were meters per second. And then the number was like 0.4 or something. So we say the magnitude of the velocity was 0.4 meters per second. All right? So any number you write is always got to have a magnitude. Sorry, a uh, number and units. Number and units. All right, and that's it.